Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends, but waiting just around the bend. Everywhere you look, everywhere there's you a heart, there's a heart. I hear the holding on to. Everywhere you look, everywhere there's you look. look. Welcome back to Green Hill News Network. I'm Kaylee Blanton. And I'm Jack Klepser. Time for the news. Prom invitations will be delivered later next week. Tickets will be on sale March 1st through April 1st. No tickets will be sold after April 1st, no matter the reason. Reminder, if you have 10 or more unexcused absences, you cannot go to prom. Green Hill FFA is hosting their second annual Miss Rising Sun pageant tomorrow afternoon in the theater. Doors open at 4.30 p.m. Curtains open at 5 p.m. Admission is $10 per person at the door and can be paid with cash, check, or card. Sign-ups for auditions for Senior Night are still being accepted. You can sign up by scanning the QR code on the posters found throughout the school. Auditions, sign-ups, close on March 3rd. Green Hill Culinary competed in the Tennessee State Post Art Management Competition earlier this week. The team brought home the first place award for the management competition, qualifying culinary to attend nationals in April to represent the state of Tennessee. Green Hill Culinary will be partnering with Lebanon High School to take a trip to Spain in the spring of 2025. To learn more about the trip, attend the interest meeting on next Tuesday, February 27th at 6 p.m. in A300. To attend, use the link on the Culinary Facebook page to RSVP. If you would like more information, stop by Ms. Bohannon's room, A300. Green Hill Early College Academy applications for rising 9th, 10th, and 11th graders are due on Friday, March 8th. For more information on Early College Academy, check out the ECA page on the school website or email Ms. McLean. The third annual Fine Arts Gala will take place on Friday, March 22nd at 6 p.m. Tickets will go on sale March 18th for $10. The price of admission includes light hors d'oeuvres, and any student participating in the gala will have free entry to the event. That's all for the news. Now over for an interview with some of our football team that's signing this week. Uh, we're really excited about having the opportunity to uh, showcase uh, Braden and Dallas and Garen and Alex and having them opportunity to sit in front of our student section, our crowd, and kind of celebrate them for a day. I just, it really felt like home, to be honest. I went to a lot of schools, but they didn't, they just didn't feel right, and I think I found a great home in Army. And I like the location. It's by my family. It's a great place to be. I feel like I can move farther with my athletic talents. Uh, I think it made it a good fit because, like, when I went there on my visit, it was just felt like home. I liked the campus. The coaching staff was great. I mean, they have a good academic program, so everything just kind of fit right for me. My recruiting coordinator, his name's uh, Coach Weeks. He really stayed connected through me, connected with me through this entire journey, and uh, I went out there, and uh, it just felt most comfortable, and it felt like home to me. They really taught me how to be a better leader and just be a better person overall and it really inspired me just to do big things in this world. Got great coaching, great men leading me and ultimately Coach Bastion was the one who suggested that uh, JUCO would be the right route and here I am. Uh, they helped a lot. Actually Coach Crouch helped me get in contact with uh, Indy and they came out to all-star practice and I got to talk to them and then a couple weeks later I got to go up there and visit so they helped a lot. This school has uh, set me up for a really good success. So is Coach Crouch. I mean I, I wouldn't be playing uh, college football I don't think if it wasn't for him. It means a lot. It's just what Green Hill's about man. Just bringing everybody together. I'm glad to see all my family and my friends were able to make it. Really excited that they all are supporting me as much as they were. I've just been great, grateful to be backed up by such a Great family, great coaches, great school and everything, and it just means a lot to be where I am today. It was great to see a bunch of people come out and support all of us because uh, it's a big uh, step and uh, a great big journey that we're about to head on. Football is football no matter where you go. Um, it'll present you an opportunity to get a diploma, and that, again, is, is the most important thing out of football is just having the opportunity to play for a degree. And, um, you know, I, th I think all these kids, at the end of the day, they, if they graduate college, that's the goal, um, you know, and I think they'll all be successful in the classroom and on the field. And now it's time for some nonsense by the Nico Duffy. 
Welcome back to Nico's Nonsense. Today we're going to be asking questions. Bet you didn't guess that one. What is your favorite emoji? I like the sunglasses emoji. That's pretty cool. What's your favorite emoji? The crying one. Can you demonstrate for us? <laughs> What's your favorite emoji? I don't use emojis. That's cute. I don't. Do you use them all like semicolon, dash type thing? Or <laughs> what is your favorite emoji? The tongue emoji. Can you can you demonstrate for us? Uh, <laughs> Alright, what's your favorite emoji? Emoji? The one is like it's like that. You know what, what's the, I don't know if that's in the Where they be like where they tongue out like, no, yeah, like no, 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 not that one. Not that one. The, the one's like I don't know that one. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I'm what's your favorite emoji though? Oh dude. It's gotta be the smack the face emoji. Can you demonstrate for us? <laughs> what is your favorite emoji and why? Emoji? Um, probably like the one that is like crying. Is it like? Yeah, like that. Yeah. What's your favorite emoji and why? The side eye. Can you demonstrate for us? <laughs> My favorite emoji, probably the one with the tears coming out of your eyes. Can you uh, that's the demonstrate one. for us? I mean, he's like laughing. There's like tears coming out of his eyes. I, I don't remember that. I mean, I can't just summon tears on command. Uh, what's a tree's favorite subject? A tree's favorite subject? Trigonometry. Left. You didn't give me a chance to even respond. Okay. Um, That's if, like Cardinal Sin and telling jokes. Who? Colonel Sanders. Is that like KFC? If there's any way we can cancel Nico's nonsense, we need to get on that, Mr. Capozzi. Favorite emoji? Probably like the laughing the crying laughing. I use it a lot because Coach Eric sends me a lot of TikToks and then I always, almost always reply back with that. Can you he... demonstrate the emoji for us? <laughs> My favorite emoji and why? The meh face. The meh face? Can mm -hmm. you demonstrate for us? What's your favorite emoji and why? I like the little flame one. The flame one? Can you demonstrate for us? It's flame. Oh, it's hot. Um, my favorite emoji is probably like the cowboy emoji. Cause like, I feel like it can mean a lot of different things. It could things. mean a lot of things. The face palm. The because Facebook? it's me imagining doing it to someone else. I had the time of my life. And I never felt this way before. Hey, yeah. she said, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bad and my mom. All right, she said, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. She said, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. My notepad caught many bodies. Screenshots solved many problems. Mm, shout out, Drake. Beautiful. Wait. <laughs> Please make sure that makes a cut. Beautiful. Crazy. <laughs> Can we get her on camera singing this song? No, but amaze me. The way that she dances. <laughs> to take chances. Where's her heart on her sleeve? Yeah, she's crazy. But her beautiful's crazy. Well, I did it back. Crazy's <laughs> beautiful to me. Mm, everybody clap. Everybody clap. Just reaching for something in the distance. So close, you can almost taste it. Release your inhibition. Feel the rain on my, your skin? You're supposed to sing it, coach. What are the words to Tennessee whiskey? <laughs> You're as smooth. Mm, ooh, yeah. As Tennessee whiskey, whiskey. Ooh, you're as sweet yeah. as strawberry wine. Mm. You're as warm as a glass of brandy. Ooh. If you could talk to anybody from any time, who would you talk to? Abraham Lincoln. Why is that? I want to know his mindset. He seems like a good guy. He is a good guy. Or I don't know, but I have some stuff. Thank you. If you could talk to anybody from any time, who would you talk to? MLK. It's it's February. If you could talk to anybody from any time, who would you talk to? Probably Dom. Aw. Aw, that was cute. Let's get a little on the editing. <laughs> if you could talk to anybody from any time, who would you talk to? Jesus. Mm. Real. Great answer. Shout out Jesus. I love that guy. If you could talk to anybody from any time, who would it be and why? Vince Lombardi. Vince Lombardi. That's a good that's a good one. Vince Lombardi. Big yep. trophy guy, huh? If you could talk to anybody from any time, who would it be? Probably Alexander the Great. Mm, Alexander the Great, one who like conquered all them. Yeah. Conquered he places. Conquered, yeah, he did. He conquered almost all of Europe. Shout out Alexander Hamilton. 
the great. That's not the great. Yeah, so not him. Alexander Hamilton the great. Anybody from any time? Sun Tzu. Who's that? Wrote The Art of War. It's a fantastic book. Very uh, philosophical. But then the obvious answer is, of course, Jesus. Yeah, that's true. Shout out Jesus. He died for us yeah. and stuff. Hey, this way. If you could talk to anybody from any time, who would it be? Either Jesus or George Washington. Jesus or George Washington. Or Jesse James. Mm. If you could talk to anybody from any time, who would it be? No My pressure. dad. Oh. oh, that was sweet. Oh. That was so sweet. I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, thank you. Duffy just did it. Duffy just did it. That has been Nico's nonsense. Take it back to Kaylee and Jack. Sayonara. Thanks, Nico. Now it's time for Sports on the Hill with Ollie and Josh. Welcome, Welcome back, back to Sports, Sports on the, the Hill, Hill with Ollie and Josh. Josh. Both basketball teams wrapped up the district tournament this weekend. After losing to Hendersonville on Saturday, the Lady Hawks defeated Gallatin in the consolation game on, on Tuesday night. Sheridan Cruz and Alyssa Puttier were named to the all-tournament team. The Lady Hawks play Cane Ridge tonight in the regional tournament at Gallatin at 8.30. Boys basketball defeated Mount Julia in Beach. To reach the district championship game on Tuesday night, the Hawks failed to Hendersonville in the championship game 50 to 44 Kenny Ellis and Aaron Mattingly were named to the all-tournament team the Hawks take on Antioch tomorrow at 3 o'clock at Gallatin six Green Hill wrestlers advanced to the state championship by placing the top four in the sectionals last weekend they will be competing this weekend at the Williamson County Expo Center Aiden Neal signed with Cumberland University this week for bowling now we're going to do the picks for the Green Green Hill girls basketball team tonight. I got the Lady Hawks on this game. What about you, Ollie? I have the Lady Hawks as well. Coming coming off two great wins. They're gonna they're gonna have to play strong. An eight o'clock game, turning turning around playing at Gallatin. It's gonna be tough, but I but I really think Green Hill's gonna win. What about you, Josh? I uh, I think it's gonna be a good game. Uh, I think Coach Simmons' team is going to win tonight, so I think it will be a really good game. Come out and support. We need all the support we get, so go Hawks. That's all for Sports on the Hill with Ollie and Josh. Have a great day. Thanks, Josh and Ollie. And now over to Nico with the Duffy Downpour. Hey, guys. Long time no see. Welcome back to the Duffy Downpour with Nico Duffy. I got a joke for you guys. Why are clouds terrible witnesses in court? because their stories are always up in the air. <laughs> anyway, it's gonna be a little cloudy this weekend. Today we got a high of 61, low of 43. Saturday, high of 47, low of 37. And Sunday, high of 63, low of 29. Back to you guys. Thanks, Nico. And that's all for the news. I'm Kaylee Blanton. And I'm Jack Klepser. Have a good one. See you in the next one. It's gonna be a banger. Everywhere.